Growing TV with your girl Dominique. How y'all doing out there? I hope you're good and I hope you're great, honey. But welcome back to another episode of my podcast. Y'all see me. I'm definitely trying to get these out to y'all because I be missing y'all. I'm trying to stop going on my little small hiatus, isis, hiatus, isis. <laughs> But, honey, nevertheless, um, y'all know what I want to talk about. I wanted to kind of, you know, what is this dating? You know, what is this? Like, I don't even want to say dating in 2021 because this is something that I have had a question about for years, like, 2020, 2019, 2018, 2017. Like, what is this? First of all, can somebody get me together with the definition? Like, what are what are other people's thoughts and definition of what dating is to them? Because y'all guessed it right. Of course, I'm going to tell you what my definition of dating is. But I honestly... I am curious to know because I feel like a lot of people feel like when you say you dating somebody, that just automatically means that y'all are together or that you automatically assuming that that person you're dealing with feels like y'all together. But that's not what that means at all. So let me just tell y'all, I feel like it's levels, right? to the whole dating and then where you end up. I feel like it's levels, but let me just tell y'all what I feel like dating is. I feel like dating is boom. You meet somebody, you have conversation, you decide, ooh, you know, we like having conversation, we like chit-chatting with each other, then you hang out, then you decide, mm, ooh, he cool or she cool or whatever, you know. Y'all cool, so you like it. So you hang out some more. You chit-chat more. Now this is becoming like a constant thing or um, seeing each other may come become like consistent. So you guys are chilling, you know? This is somebody that you're consistently talking to and you are consistently seeing. That to me is when it becomes, you know, you're dating. You just just dating and then you have a discussion one day about you know hey we've been seeing each other and we've been chilling we've been consistent for quite some time do you want to like make this exclusive and then boom now y'all exclusive now after the exclusive part then because you still consistently seeing each other but exclusive is meaning Hey, I just want to see you and you just want to see me, right? Y'all let me know if I'm on the right track. Then this is where discussion come in. Do you want to, you know, be with me? Are we going to be together? Then y'all establish that boyfriend and girlfriend talk. That's when it gets a little bit serious. That is my whole, you got dating, exclusive, boyfriend and girlfriend, Like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, why do people feel like when you use the word dating, that means that you are automatically, like, in some type of relationship or automatically, you know, you the boyfriend and she the girlfriend or however have you, because that is definitely not what that means. And me personally, if I'm seeing somebody and we chilling and we kicking it and we cool. That's yeah, we dating because we seeing each other on a consistent basis. We talking on a on a consistent basis. But does that mean that I feel like I'm exclusive to somebody? No, cuz we haven't had that conversation. Does that mean I feel like that you're exclusive to me? <sighs> no, cuz we haven't had that conversation. So Am I to assume in the dating stage that you, that the person is still 
having conversations and seeing somebody else or multiple people. Yes. Because I just think it's crazy, like, what people feel like dating these days. I Honestly, I honestly, I'm going to just have to be just say it is what it is. A lot of people don't like the word dating because, number one, the seriousness they put behind the word dating. But for some reason, people feel like if you say you're dating somebody, that means you have to now be committed to, <laughs> you have to now be committed to this one person. But why assume that if you are definitely not having that conversation with somebody? And I know women can be type vulnerable. Men can be too. Let me just, let me not exclude men in this because they just, is they just as emotional and vulnerable as us women are. They just don't like to admit it, but they really are. They really are. But a lot of people just put too much pressure on that word for me because I talk to a lot of people and they seem to think like, okay, <laughs> she she said what now? Like, he said what now? Um, They say we dating or no, I don't think, I think dating is serious. But it's not, y'all. That's why when people, when you're single out here, that's why they tell you to date multiple people because dating is not anything really serious. It's just you going out here meeting new people, you having fun, you talking, you getting to know somebody or you getting to know multiple people. That's what dating is. So I'm confused at why either people really are afraid of being in relationships or they just use that as an excuse to not want to be serious. But at the end of the day, being afraid of dating and what it consists of should not mean you afraid to lose your um what I want to say, your freedom, because if I say I'm dating you, that doesn't mean that you are just all mine. I'm still going to think in the back of my head, we just dating because we haven't signed, sealed, and delivered anything about me being your woman or you being my man. Like, I just don't understand that. Y'all tell me if I'm wrong, I would love to get some feedback on other people's opinion about what dating is to them, what they feel it consists of to them, because I honestly feel like it's, it's levels. It's levels to this. <laughs> you don't just jump in and get to know somebody and y'all may hit it off and then you be like, oh yeah, that's my man or oh yeah, that's my woman. Because if I haven't discussed anything with anybody, if I go on out there and I say, if somebody want to meet me, hey, give me your number, whatever, whatever I, that's what I'm going to do because I'm dating. I'm not tied down to anybody. I am not seriously talking to anybody. So what is it, y'all? And then when you out here seeing these men, it's like, and you women, like people are so confused as to what they want. Either you want it or you don't want it. And I feel like you have to be definitely upfront with people about, you know, where you're trying to go in a particular type of relationship. Because y'all know what? <laughs> My mom told me that I am not supposed to ask the first couple of conversations I have with somebody about marriage and what they want. And I was like, Mom. It's different out here. <laughs> We're dealing with different type of people. You do have to ask because if you don't ask, you're going to assume that somebody wants the same thing you want, and then you're going to definitely be wasting your time. It's just like, you know, if I was handed, like, a contract out here to help build a home, right? I have eight months to build this home, and I'm being paid to definitely be finished at the eight month mark. But little old me sitting here lollygagging and taking all the time that I need to take 
and I haven't found any contractors. I haven't found any like carpenters. I haven't even went to go get no permits for certain things. If I want a fence here, if I want to put something there, if I want to knock out these tight walls or if I want to re, you know, wire anything. I haven't did my due diligence in in completing this home, right? So now we at the six month mark. Only got like two more months to build this home. And a permit itself can take up to 30 days, if not 30 days. And in some situations, I don't know. But do y'all think I'm going to finish building that house on time? No, (laughs) because I failed to be... I failed to do my due diligence. I failed to do my homework. I failed to do what it is I was supposed to do with building this home. I didn't ask the appropriate questions. I don't get, I didn't go get the appropriate license. I didn't go find the appropriate things that I needed. So that to me, that is almost what when you meet people out here, that is almost like the same thing, if I'm not upfront with what I am wanting from somebody or that person is not upfront with me, we just sitting here assuming and then we riding along and then uh, apparently or all of a sudden you realize time has went by and then you be like, you want to get married? And then your person be like, no, never. And then now you want me looking some type of way. So it's just like, I I just feel like it's no need to like waste nobody's time. Like if you don't honestly want to be out here, if, if somebody, if people know that they don't want anything with anybody, then it's okay to just be like, because I'm going to tell y'all a secret. Okay. People respect you more when you tell the truth. <laughs> Seriously, y'all. People will understand nine times out of ten if you tell them the truth because ultimately they're going to respect you for being so honest about what you want and what you don't want or just in general being honest okay because if you know you don't want anything like anything with that particular person now that doesn't mean just because you may not want something with me it doesn't mean like you're not going to want something with somebody else it just it just mean like everybody is not everybody's cup of tea you know even if you even if you spend time with a certain someone and and for some reason you just don't see this person as the solid person, that's fine too. You just need to say that. Like, I don't feel like, because y'all know I like to talk anyway. (laughs) I don't feel like there's anything wrong with being upfront. But going back to what I was saying, if you know you don't want anything with anybody, when you first meet somebody, just be like, look, I know it's hard for men to do that because they honestly feel like women won't give them a chance. But y'all would be surprised. Y'all would definitely be surprised if you walk into a situation and be like, look, this this is what I want. This All I'm looking for is a fun time. All I'm looking for is friends. I don't want nothing serious at all. I just kind of want to, you know. Some women will be down for that. Like, a lot of women would really be down for that because a lot of women, especially, like, this day and age, I know it's a lot of women that want relationships, that want to get married, but you also have a set that ain't bothered with a relationship. They don't want to be bothered with a relationship. So, them the two groups that need to meet. Tell the truth. I don't need this. I don't want this. I'm not looking for this. And then you go over here and you just, once you tell the truth, you can kind of weed them off like that. (laughs) <laughs> she said she was okay with it, but she said she not. Don't even go towards the one that said she not, okay? And women too, like, I just don't understand the, especially at adult ages, like, people can't be honest and have certain conversations. But I just wanted to come in here and pop in because she, I'm confused. You know, I always be confused, and I'm looking for y'all to help me unconfuse myself, okay? So, y'all, thank y'all for watching another episode of Not Enough Growing TV with your girl, Dominique. 
I always enjoy y'all. Make sure y'all drop in the comment section what y'all want me, my Q&As, and give me y'all feedback on what y'all feel like dating is. What's the definition of dating? Okay? <laughs>